I am not fighting a nigga who hairline look like this. I said it earlier in the video. He don't care about life. If his hairline is like this and he walking around in the free world on national television and his hairline like this, he don't care about life, which means he gonna whoop your ass and not give a fuck about it, okay? Oh shit. Here we go again. Hey, uh -huh. What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Lamont. Did it back today with another video, another reaction, another bang, bang, banger, baby. Let's get it. All right, man. So today gonna be reaction to it's a boxing match, man. Apparently, old buddy got knocked up out. You know what I'm saying? Like they did on Friday. Boy, you got knocked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hold my cousin back. You feel me? I'm going to say that for later in the video, man. But it's your boy Lamont Diddy. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Turn that post notification. You can see every time your boy upload a lit ass video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get it. Well, I don't know. I mean. Hold up. Way too early into the video. Hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, I ain't even gonna lie. Buddy hairline is fucked up. I'm not fighting a nigga with a bad hairline. I just can't do it. Can't fight a nigga with a bad hairline. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Uh, 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 he done out the Nigga, if you knock me out the ring, I gotta come back and shoot you twice. Not once, but twice. Nigga, I'm getting attempted murder. Let's hold up. But he can see, he can breathe. Look at this nigga hairline, cuz. I am not getting in the ring with a nigga who hairline like this. He don't care about life. If he don't care about how his hairline look, he don't care about knocking your ass out and national television, nigga. I don't want to end up on World Star getting knocked out by a nigga with a hairline like this. For real, I don't. Okay. But he's Buddy just that. wanted to take a seat. Look at that. Buddy just wanted to chill. You know how you tired that like you just got done running outside and shit? You just want to bend over. This nigga here. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. This nigga was like, shit, let me just get out of the ring. This nigga can't hit me no more if I'm outside this bitch. He, he didn't hit him there. Woo! He hit him that second time and then Fernandez goes through. Let me sip my tea. Hold on, we gonna rewind that back, my friend. Can I get your ass out of here? Let's get it. Stop winning any rounds. Look at buddy face, bro. My nigga. Nose bloody. Don't know what the hell going on. I he knew he fucked up. He shouldn't he should have never accepted this fight. Sipping my tea. Let's finish it. This fight is now over. John Shirley. Look at this nigga here. I am not fighting a nigga who hairline look like this. I said it earlier in the video. He don't care about life. If his hairline is like this and he walking around in the free world on national television and his hairline like this, he don't care about life, which means he gonna whoop your ass and not give a fuck about it, okay? This is why I already knew this video was toe up when I seen this nigga hairline, man. Good Lord, help me, Jesus. Somebody. His barber, his barber gotta be fired. Matter of fact, no. Nigga, pay your barber more because your barber is helping you be a successful fighter because you're not giving a fuck about life right now. Obviously, he wants the great career. Jumps in, and we don't need Steve Smith. This nigga ain't not even working. You just punched him. And 
I am shooting you, nigga, instantly. When I turn like this, I'm telling my nigga in the corner, go get the gun. Go, go get the gun. He hit me too hard. Nigga, I did not know I was going to have to fight like this. Nigga. Save Fernandez from falling out because that's dangerous. And it's the second right hand. This nigga is fighting with a purpose. He's still up against the rope. Sanchez is legally allowed to do that. Look at this nigga. He took a seat like. Lord, help me get up because I know I done fucked up. Matter of fact, Lord, please just. What you want me to do? Lord said. Nigga, lay down. Lay down, nigga. Lord said, lay down, nigga. Alright, man, that's the end of the motherfucking video, boy. Look, I'm not lying. When I tell you, I am not in my life. I'm not in my life going to fight. In the, I'm, first thing I see, if I'm, if I'm in a confrontation, right? If I'm in a confrontation, this nigga, headline look like that. But you got it. You got it. What I'm gonna say? What I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? Obviously, you don't care about nothing. You see how he hit this nigga? And then went in the corner like this. And looked around. This nigga was fighting with a purpose. Matter of fact, there was no purpose. He ain't care. This nigga said, I don't care about when he lose on national TV. Because obviously, I don't even care how he look. Good Lord. I mean. <sighs> this nigga walked outside with his hairline like that. And then, old white boy got his ass whooped by a nigga with hair. Bro, how did it? first of all, people in America. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a couple ways how you know a nigga don't care and you shouldn't try this nigga. He got on black Air Force Ones that's creased up like a motherfucker, right? Hairline fucked up. He don't give a fuck about nothing. This nigga t-shirt is to the point where the neck, the neck collar part is hanging like this. If that shit hanging like this and that nigga shirt just all fucked up, he don't care. He don't care. You are you are about to fight the wrong nigga, okay? Or if the nigga, the nigga clothes is just entirely too big. You just gonna fight the wrong nigga. Leave him alone, okay? He is not the one to fight. It's your boy Lamont Diddy, man. That's the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? Happy New Year. 2021. I'm coming back even harder, even smarter, and greater than before. It's your boy Lamont Diddy. Let's do it. Mm. Peace out. Okay.